Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising. Monte Tower reading October 2019 and bear with me just a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for your uh, month Capricorn, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges uh, that you need to face throughout the month here, we do have the uh, Eight of Cups, followed by the third card which represents the, um, the best course of action, I would say, throughout the endeavors and the enterprises of the month, that will be the Seven of, uh, the seven of Swords, then what we do have here, it is uh, the uh, the next card and that will be the lesson that you are about to learn for the month or what the month is going to teach you or also could be taken as well or why this is all happening, what is the reason behind it. And we do have the Emperor for that position. The last position uh, in your reading is going to be the energies which are supporting you throughout the month and that will be the Nine of Pentacles. So before we uh, pick up this reading apart, you know, and uh, interpret the cards one by one, let's run them one more time. So we do have the Tree of Pentacles here standing for the topic, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. That is to be the Eight of Cups. Afterwards, it is the third card of Seven of Swords. That is the best uh, course of action that you can take toward the uh, endeavors in the month or intentions that you can have here. Uh, Seven of Swords. Then it is the Emperor card, which represents the lesson that you are about to learn or why all this is happening. And then the last one, it is the Nine of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, energies that are helping you for throughout the month. All right, so three, three of a pentacles, it's uh, catalyzed here or it is accompanied with the Eight of Swords. We do have a passive enemies in this uh, particular position and this month is going to be uh, devoured by a lot of um, uh, conversations. A, a, a conversations in a term of that you are going to try to find the uh, most efficient way out of a certain situations that you are finding yourself out, realizing that you are in those situations because you allow yourself to be into those situations, either stuck in love life, either stuck into career. But we're talking about a, a, a field rather like a standpoint where you feel stuck in, all right? <clears throat> and uh, at that point, it's time for you to negotiate your way through because this is what we're talking about here, negotiating uh, your way through and... Uh, how do you say it when you arrange the um when you kind of like arrange the, the 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 rules and the regulations it, it's negotiation right 
but also uh, at this month it is where you are going to receive a, a lot of support support from those who care in a sense of that support from uh, your bosses and your co-workers right support from your uh, wife husband or, or boyfriend or a girlfriend as well people that generally are are, are counting on your people that are seeing you as a very faithful companion are going to be there to support you throughout your development and you can definitely count on a very fruitful cooperation in between you and those people as well <clears throat> the thing with these two cards here it is that uh, together or the the slogan that you can go under with these two cards is that together there isn't anything impossible so uh in some of you capricorn i um this whole thing could manifest as a uh, a proposition for a help or just a, a criticism that you are to receive that is going to sober you is going to wake you up and you need to act upon those uh, those opportunities to break through the magic circle that you may find yourself at either career wise or either relationship wise as well but definitely the tree of pentacles it's it's a card of building up like building up on top of a, of a certain foundations foundations that you have established for yourself career wise or relationship wise as well but this build up happens by you being guided once again through or from the people that are around you so whatever you decide to do throughout uh, throughout this month it will be it will be highly advisable for you to consult yourself you know with uh, with those that you do care about you know your best friends your family for example your faithful co-workers and so on and so forth um, for the very reason if you will to reassure yourself that, that is a the best possible course of action so what is going to be the challenge here well we do have the eight of cups and this card it will be catalyzed by the queen of wands <clears throat> um the the challenge itself this represents it's quite difficult to describe it it's, it is very reminiscent to a lack of belief into the self capabilities, but not exactly. It is more like a uh, the despite that you are to um, that you are to incorporate the abilities that are required, the situation are not is not going to lead anywhere anyway. Okay, it's like a, a sense that no matter how much you throw, even if you do have the means there to prove futile as well okay i mean the the whole thing is going to prove futile so you may find yourself in a bit of a, a lack of courage a lack as well of, of determination and enthusiasm to do anything throughout the months regardless is it this going to be a, a career or relationship and even that could be also a um a situation where you're feeling yourself highly undervalued as well okay that you are giving everything you got and yet you are not facing the um the appropriate respect for example or the appropriate benefits from uh from either the career or the relationship that you're in but um uh, at the start of these two cards i said a belief it is because these two are uh, urging you to know or rather like are hoping that you are going to know that this ain't going to be like forever what i mean is that yeah right now maybe you are not getting what you deserve or right now maybe you are not as valued as you can be okay but this isn't going to last forever and eventually the wheel is going to turn or is going to swivel itself around and then you are to find yourself on the top of the world this is just the only thing here it is not lose a clamorous belief into oneself okay do not think that you are worthless do not think that you can't do it whatever you are after all right but high have a high opinion of yourself that, that that's my point here do not allow this um <clears throat> situation of stagnation of, of of hitting a wall should you find yourself in such situation you know to under uh, undermine your uh, your personal how do i say it um, you know your, your 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 assessment for oneself this is what i'm trying to say here how you are placing yourself for yourself and, and and you know how how much you are as uh, how big assessment you're giving to your personal qualities 
So what is to be the next one that will be the, um, the best possible course of action? And we do have the Seven of Swords here with the Six of Swords. So these two cards are a active supporters and what they are telling you it is that this time around you shouldn't keep it within yourself. These cards are pointing you that should you feel that there is some sort of a um, injustice done to you, then you have to speak about it because these two cards are very strong for the one who stands for its personal rights. For the one who is willing to storm their situation in uh, in attempt to uh, take what one thing what one thing uh, one is uh, one earns or rather like what's uh, what people owe you all right also uh, these two cards are, are describing a determination of improving excuse me circumstances no matter what even if that uh, even if that requires you to take risks even if that requires you to do uh, to make a deal with um figuratively speaking the devil uh what i mean here it is that um you may opt to uh forge an allegiance with a people or with the society that under normal circumstances you would not forge allegiance with so you can expect some very accurate uh, very uh, awkward excuse me very awkward and unusual um sightings that you are to find that you are to build throughout uh, throughout this month you are you can't expect that people that you would usually not want to hear this time around you may start listening you know uh what they are telling you and also taking it under consideration that is because uh the month itself will require from you to adopt rather kind of like a balanced standpoint in the sense of that regardless what the person is for you or regardless how they stand in front of you there is always a, a positive information that you can extract from what they are telling you and thus you may find yourself as well as a peacemaker throughout the month like combining two opposing forces under uh, the uh, cumulative banner here um combining them to uh, strive toward the common goal which is going to be your goal but what you gotta do in the grand scheme of things once again is that you have to start demanding to be paid what you have been owned uh, and uh, underpaid i mean not only money but also respect for example you know attention and etc etc it's simply when you feel that there is injustice around you you have to stand you, you have to stand tall and demand explanation and also a fair treatment why this is all happening here we do have the emperor card and it is catalyzed by the justice card these two are a active uh, friends and they scream for structure it is simply that this month you are gonna get your shits together all right it is basically this is what the month is going to teach you how to pick up your things from the ground sort them out and collect yourself if you want to say it that way fully understanding that <clears throat> whatever um how do i say it here whatever you are to face in the future it is a, a direct result from your current actions so you in you are in the present are are forging your near and distant future as well and the best way how one can forge one's future it's by creating strong structure in it additionally to that the month is going to teach you how to be very accountable toward your words toward your actions as well so in other words you ain't going you you ain't going to give empty promises or you are not going to continue on speaking things that you do not think or that you think that you can't get away with them um, without having any repercussions and also is going to teach you how to prove yourself reliable to those who are doubting you but the best thing of the lesson here for you capricorn is that you are going to learn how to face the daily ups and downs uh with much more ease than usual so we are talking about that you are going to learn how to not put a, a lot of pressure upon yourself and how to abate the stress that you are usually living through 
And the last card, it is about the energies that are to support you. We do have the Nine of Pentacles. So those energies, uh, one second to uh, drag the catalyst here, we do have the Hierophant card. Um, this is a active supporters. And those energies are going to help you always to find the gold mine. So uh, throughout the months, you, the, these energies are going to direct you toward business endeavors, toward very detached and um, carefree relationships. Detached, I mean, with no strings of stipulations or a mutual uh, responsibilities here. Also, these energies are going to help you to find the trust, to find a reliable people. And also, these energies are going to help you understand how the world works in a sense of that how your situation work and also what you gotta do in order to either break it or make it ultimately at the end i think that this is going to be your decision and everybody is going to decide in a different way based on their personal needs some of you may want to break your relationship some of you may want to quit your job other of you may want to sustain your job or to sustain your relationship but ultimately those energies will help you to find the right circumstances to leap in either of those directions and you get to decide in which one you want to go for. So, um, yeah, before I conclude the reading, one, th one, more, th uh, one more time, guys, to uh, repeat to you whatever restrictions you are feeling that you do have throughout the months. This is because you are making those, those restrictions. These are self-imposed limitations. And maybe you may not find yourself mentally strong enough to break those limitations. And that's why you need the fruitful conversations with faithful companions, people that you do care about and that you know that they care about you as well. You know, people that are not afraid to criticize you because they are doing it because they want to see you improving rather than keeping their opinion for themselves and not allowing you to learn what the cold truth is. So yeah, that being said, Capricorn, this was your monthly tarot reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.